Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today guys, we are playing The Void. We are playing the Hellfire Hero Mech because I really like the combination of PPCs and LBX shotguns and this mech is actually quite good for it. It is a clan heavy mech, it is a 60 ton clan heavy mech and as you can see, we have two PPCs on our left side. We have long range particle projector cannons and then there is a single LB10X auto cannon on the right shoulder. Everything is torso mounted, which is actually quite good. Everything is quite, you know, close together which is really great for weapon convergence and the cool thing is that we have a velocity of here uh, what is that projectile speed is uh, 1100 and the projectile speed here is a 1500 which means the PPCs are slightly faster than our LBX uh, shotgun and that means that we're gonna punch some holes into our enemy's armor and then we're gonna follow up with a nice uh, cluster of uh, LBX pellets that have a good critical chance and that can tear inner parts uh, of the mechs apart and destroy weapon systems and electronics and double heat things and you know stuff like that. We are running an XL engine 280 it's not the fastest engine or the biggest engine in the universe but still, we are running 75 kph and for, I would say, a mid-range build like that, it is absolutely enough. And as you can see, the rest, it's just heat management, so we don't have any trouble running hot at all. And that's a very cool thing, having two PPCs that you can fire over and over and over again. I really, really do like this build here. We have some skills as well, so let's dive into them as well. As you can see, we got magazine capacity for our LBX, we got LBX spread 1 and 2 for our LBX, and then on top of it, we got a bit of velocity and the rest is cooldown and heat gen, so we can fire as fast as possible. Sadly our PPCs have quite a lengthy cooldown and the LBS fires rather fast so whenever you fire one shot of a PPC you fire two shots of an LBX which means it's kind of like an like an awkward mix of shots that you have sometimes and um, therefore um, don't try to to brawl with that although your LBX fires fast because you're kind of missing the follow-up damage or kind of the initial damage from the PPCs. Just use it as something that really likes to peak and uh, you know can can stay in the fight when the enemies have have, uh, you know, or when your friends have attracted fire from your enemies. We also have a bit of armor here, left side of the survivability tree. It's easily accessible, gives you a good value in terms of uh, additional hit points. And then we go for maximum cool run, a maximum heat containment, like all of the points here to keep the PPCs cold. And then on top of that, rated deprivation, a double cool shot and a UAV. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Crimson Strait. Oop, what's that? Why is my thing not in two separate groups? I wasted a shot of ammo. All right, but that's okay. I don't believe we have we have enough of that. I mean, we had 54, now 53. That should be okay. I want to go up here on the high ground in the Charlie 5 area because I will be able to shoot enemies that are on the platform or maybe even beneath the platform so yeah that's that's what we're going to be doing let's do our sniper duty and shoot our ERPPCs to kind of deal some early damage to suppress the enemies to make them uh, afraid of our position and I saw a blackjack I ah oh man can we yeah no ah shot got caught by terrain let's try again though I mean this was just a, a very quick snappy snapshot okay all right he means business there we well I wanted to say there we go we didn't really hit him not at all and then he's falling down okay so let's concentrate a little bit uh, I'm gonna focus uh, it's really the first game so I gotta a little bit get uh, get a little bit comfortable with the velocity and all of that cannot really see anybody down there so oh there's a guy yeah there was a guy can I still see him from here yep. Blood ass tunnel. kind of Kind of, kind of, kind of. There we go. And we hit somebody. Perfect. So, pretty happy with that. And we're gonna just push a little bit forward, just mildly, just gently. Too late there, sure. But it doesn't cost us anything anyway. Can also do that. Just shoot above the course here, because why not? Oh man, again, just getting used to the velocity here. Hey dude, that's the that's thing. Alright, let's go and, and kind of brawl with him with our LBX. Uh, I mean, we're gonna shoot him with our LBX. Not really intend to brawl with that guy. Does he looked scary. So that's good. Got some damage in. Gonna peek again. Let's I see. A little bit too late there for me, but we at the very least got some damage in from our eh, uh, from our LBX. Man, heat management is really good on this thing. Uh, and it seems like we are taking top, guys. We are taking the top platform. Come on, follow up if you can. Oh, enemies behind us. Lots of them. Tunnel, tunnel. Yeah. They're behind us. Uh, absolutely. 
Okay, I will try to still get out of here because a uh, high ground situation is definitely gonna be better for me. Uh, at the same time, I mean, we got that guy. If we can take his arm, that would be a lot of firepower off the board. Oh no, he's, uh, I see, I see, I see. He's doing the other, the other side. God damn it. <gasps> oh, frog! What? Okay, 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 okay. Hey, dude. Oh, God. We got him. That was a lot of firepower. Uh, they, they turned around. They didn't really push any further. They turned around. I thought the tunnel was clear. That was a, that was an interesting match, uh, or match move from our enemies. Um, Blood Asp is killable. Dude, I really want to peek that. But at the same time, I don't. Are they, are they still waiting? Are they still in here? Okay, there, there are a bunch of shots coming out. So I'm gonna go for it now. Got some damage in. Took some damage in return. That's a freaking Fafnir. Mm, and that's a missed shot. <sighs> Cannot go anywhere, that's a problem. When we have we have like no big big firepower, no big firing lines at all. Oh god, that's that Fafnir is gonna tear me apart. Is he? Or is he not? Who to shoot? What? Oh man, Wolverine on the high ground as well. That's kind of a problem. I mean, we can see him and we can hit him. That's the good news. And we are actually out of their nominal range. Of, out of their optimal range. Out of their range range. He is the, the blackjack still. Okay, I'm gonna try to get out of here. Got the fireball hit again. Ah, come on. Really want to get that leg. I mean, maybe we just go for center mass, because that's a thing to deal with him as well, as a way to deal with him as well. Okay, 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 we hit him. Uh-oh. Oh, he's gonna get, he's gonna get reinforcements there. Oh, oh no. It's a, it's a Wolverine. It's the Wolverine from earlier. Okay, got some damage in. Where's the Blackjack? There he is. Got him. So, four and seven. And uh, we are not looking great at all. Not at all here. Ooh, on the Wolvie. Maybe we can overwhelm him together. Go for the legs on the Wolvie. Um, um, he's probably ha hunting our light mech. Maybe this is possible still. Legs on the Wolverine, guys. Uh-huh. Come on. No, between! Ah! I mean, we got him. We lost our PPCs, though. <laughs> that Fafnir is gonna be a problem. We have 12 shots left, guys. 12. I I don't know how to engage that. Oh, boy. That's a rough one. What's that? It's a Warhammer. We can uh, maybe help out with the Whammy. Depending on where he's going now. Keep him attracted. Yeah, great. We got him. It's an 8 and 8 scenario now, but we only have Light Max. And there is still a Fafnir. And then something else that was pretty fresh, if I remember correctly. Let's go for that guy. Maybe we can get some criticals. That thing seems damaged. Oh no, it's not. It is definitely not damaged. Maybe the Corsair. Nah, no, nah, it's not gonna happen, I guess. It's an 8 and 10. I might as well go in now. Yeah, looks, looks lost. Looks absolutely lost. Uh, any kills that we can snatch, maybe? That's the question here. That's the Faf. Uh oh <laughs> We got four shots left, guys. Come on, let's make him count. Let's try, at the very least. There's a guy. That's... No, ne never mind. Goodbye. That is not gonna happen. However, we got a kill. We got six assists. We got 712 damage done. Not bad. 465 taken. Man, the early damage coming from that from the tunnel, that was kind of my neck breaker here. That kind of made it so that I was really susceptible for getting critical damage, losing side torsos, as you could see. But... I was holding up for quite a while still, so that was cool. Anyway, again, we got the killing blow, we got 6 assists, 2k, 2k MDD, 700 damage done, 460 taken, with 3 components destroyed. That was the first round, so let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day, we are playing the Hibernal Rift, we are playing um, Skirmish, and oh man, 
plan. Uh, I should have maybe taken the other side, the other the other way around here, uh, because getting on a ramp here, getting on the high ground is going to be a little bit of a struggle for me. So we can either take this ramp there, right in front of us, and then take the, the bridge, or we can keep moving around, getting to the Charlie 3 low ground, and then take the, the high ground there in, you know, the Charlie 3 area. Um, I'm going to decide for Charlie 3. Let's go. I think it's, uh, it's a bit better because we can move with the Assault Max or Mech 1, huh? singular, uh, quite quicker. Uh, we've got to watch this ridge because this is where our enemies are coming from. And I want to shoot them if they show up. But ideally, we, we are not making contact yet. Alright, that's fine. Every now and then there's a gap, so watch that and uh, try to tread the needle if needed. So, that being said, we are kind of in safety for the time being. And my goal now is uh, to kind of find a way to attack our enemies at long range. I'm completely stuck on this guy. Holy crap. I wanted to go back or forth and nothing worked. Wow. Right. Completely stuck. Like nothing at all was happening. All right. Heat vision. There's a guy. Whoop. Whoop. Whoa. Was that just me being bad or was that a big lag? Um, also, we are getting, getting horribly pressed on that side. Hmm. All right. All right, all right, all right. And I believe our wolf pack is gonna go for the stalker, and we are just getting eaten up here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are two assault mechs who are getting. Oh shit, man! I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna try. I, I will, I will not fight this. Not at all. Look at the minimap. This is, this is just garbage. Uh, guys, we need to regroup quickly. Don't engage if you can avoid it. All right, let's take that thing. What is going on with my PPC aim here? Alright. The center is being overrun, guys. We need more help here. Uh, and, and quickly. Okay. Fireball coming through. Actually, we are, we are winning this fight here. Hi. Okay. Bam. Um, that is kind of working, I would say. <laughs> Alright. We are in a 4 and 1 situation. So maybe we can actually turn this around. Get that guy. Look at him. He's trying to get somewhere, but he's not going to go... Uh, not gonna go far. Right, we're gonna try to just dodge the damage that's coming from the Hawk. The fireball there. And it seems like, uh, oh yeah, our assault makes are getting eaten up. Ooh, that feels bad, man. I'm sorry. Didn't really see that. It's a Jaguar as well. Okay, got some damage in. This guy again. I mean, he's, he's getting more and more damage there. And it seems like we are getting a lot of pressure now. The people are trying to get on the high ground again. And, dude, I really want to peek that. I do want to peek that. Although, maybe it's not the smartest idea. Uh, let's try to avoid those guys here. Or maybe get even in their, in their backs. Uh, nope, no, not possible. Also not possible. All right. So we either drop or... No, we drop. That's it. What? Got him. Now, turning around. We are in the trench. And... Cannot really get on the high ground anymore, seemingly. Also, why am I on heat vision here? At this point, it doesn't make any sense anymore. Uh, let's try to go around here, intercept what's coming. Maybe, maybe what's getting pushed down. Like this. Exactly. I'm getting shot. By who? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, got it. That's a guy. Uh, we also got him. And, and now it's a matter of... Can we finish this? Yup, we can. Lots of missiles here. Holy crap, where are they coming from? It seems like somebody really doesn't like my mech. It might be this guy up here, right? The bat no, Battlemaster is not really known for big missiles. Hey, RB, what are you doing? Oh, didn't didn't connect? Really tried to get his arm or side torso off there. Hello? Good shot there on my side torso, I gotta say. And now you're shut down. No headshot. Alright. Is he gonna go for me? All right, we got him in the end. What a weird, weird little game, I gotta say. <laughs> but it worked. So, lost my LB10. Uh, we got some good damage out here. And uh, overall, the team was working like a charm. We got two killing blows, two kill most damage dealt, six issues. We got 560 damage done, 370 taken with three components destroyed. And that, my friends, was your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Goodbye.